Hello friends, this is RetroGames84 and today I'm going to show you how to stream Mob Crush using OBS. To get started first, you're going to need to download MobyZen or Reflector. If you are on an Android device, uh, MobyZen is what you need, it's completely free. For iOS users, uh, you will need to use Reflector. Um, I know there are other options out there, this is my software of choice. It is $14.99 to purchase, so it does cost some money, but it works extremely well. I will put the link to this page in the description below, and as well to MobyZen, so you guys can access them directly. Both MobyZen and Reflector are mirroring apps. Basically what that means is they will mirror what's on your device to your desktop, which you will need to broadcast. But once you have either MobyZen or Reflector downloaded, you are going to want to download OBS, or Open Broadcasting Software. Once you have those downloaded, here is what you will see. On the left, we have MobyZen, which is currently connected to my Android device. And what you are seeing on my Android phone is being shown on MobyZen. You can see it's on my desktop. If I want to change the apps, I can change them. It is mirroring exactly what is on my phone. On the right, this is OBS. Now that you have those two downloaded, we can move on to the fun part of getting your stream set up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to mobcrush.com. You're going to want to go to your name once you're logged in and go down to settings. Once you have reached settings, down at the bottom here, it's uh, what's called a stream key. Now, it's very important that you don't share this with anyone because your stream key is unique to you. If somebody gets a hold of this, they would be able to log on and stream as you. So what you want to do is you want to click to show your stream key. I'm going to blur mine out just so no one logs on and streams as Retro Games 84 you imposters. Um, but you're going to need your stream key and what's called the ingest URL down here. So we'll head over to OBS and this is where we're going to need that information. Click on our settings and we want to go to stream. And in stream there's a couple of options. There's stream type. Now streaming services is if you're using Twitch or YouTube gaming. Uh, Mob Crush isn't in here yet just because it is relatively new. I'm sure it will be soon. Uh, so for now, we're going to set up a custom streaming server. And here's where you need your URL and your stream key. So simply copy the URL. Put it in here. Copy your stream key. We're going to put that in here. And we're going to hit apply. Now that we've inputted our URL and stream key, we can now stream as us, but before we do that, we want to finish a couple more settings. So we're going to go into output and the video bitrate. I would suggest putting it at 12 or 1300. The higher it goes, the more it's going to use the processor on your computer. 1200 seems to work fine for me, but if you want to go with 1300, that's fine. I'm going to leave it at 1200. Then you want to go down to your audio and there's two things you want to look out for. You want to look out for your desktop audio device and your mic audio device. So your desktop audio device is wherever the music is coming out of your speakers. For me, I have my headphones plugged into my microphone, which is why it says my Nessie USB mic. If you're just using speakers or your monitor, um, that's available here as well. You can see my monitors listed, but we're gonna leave it at the microphone. And then the mic device is simply your microphone. Again, I have a couple of options. I can use my webcam's built-in microphone, but I'm gonna stick with my microphone. And once that's done, you're ready to go with your audio. The last thing you want to do is go to your video. Um, I can't change it right now just because I am recording, but you want to take a look at your frames per second or FPS. I'm going to leave it at 30. Um, it depends on the game that you're playing. Most games output at 30 frames per second. If it's outputting at 60 frames per second, you might want to update that. But again, based on your video card and what your computer can output, you want to make sure that it's not laggy. So I leave it at 30 frames per second. It seems to work fine for me. Once you've done all of those settings, make sure you hit apply and OK. And now your settings are complete. Now that our settings are done, we just want to double check that our audio is working. You can see down here, the microphone lines are bouncing. That's because I'm speaking, so it's picking up my audio. The desktop audio, however, is not. And this is the music or whatever sound you want. For me, I use Spotify when I'm playing games just to have some background music. So I'm going to throw on Hanson for you guys, and you'll see the desktop audio will start to go. You can see it's bouncing just as all of your heads are listening to this amazing song, and I'm sure it's gonna be stuck in your heads, and I do not apologize for that. 
Now that we've made sure the audio is working, we're going to want to bring in the visuals. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to only capture this part of our game. Because honestly, if you stream this, it's just going to confuse a bunch of people. It's not going to look very pretty. So it's a very, very simple fix. What we can do is we can hold the Alt key and we now have the ability to drag all of these points individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up as close as I can to just the game. We're going to want to get rid of all of this black space on the side, get rid of this beautiful background. And there you go. Now we can move it up to the corner. It snaps into place. We can hold shift and we can drag it all the way down. Once you've got your display set up, which I've just reset so I can show you guys the next couple steps, you're going to want to bring in your last couple of items for me. That includes my overlay. So I'm going to click on image. I'm going to call this overlay. You can call any of these whatever you like. And you're going to want to find the image. My image is located here. As you can see, I've got a few different options. And this one here, Mob Crush Overlay Notification Window, is actually available for download directly from Mob Crush's website. And it gives you a nice template to work off of. I'm going to select my overlay too. Hit open. Hit OK. And then again, just like with the game screen, we're going to want to hold shift and drag it to fit the screen. The one thing about your overlay is it does need to be a PNG image. That way it won't bring a background in and it'll just show the outline border like I have here. Down in our sources, it is layered. For those of you that use Photoshop, you know what this means. For those that don't, basically whatever is on top in the text is on top in the visuals. So if my display capture is on top of my overlay, for example, my overlay disappears. And that's simply because of the layering. So you're going to want to, want to make sure your overlay is always on the top. And the last thing we're going to bring in is our webcam. We are going to go to our video capture device. We're going to call this webcam. And there I am. Hello. It's got my Logitech C920. You can leave all the settings at default. It's working fine. So we're going to hit OK. And just like the last two items, we want to hold shift and make this a little smaller. For those of you that like your face on camera, you can make it as big as you want. I try to put it down in the corner here just uh, as a little bit of a distraction. And now that we've got that set up, we are ready to stream. Now that we're ready to go, we can simply start streaming. So all you need to do is go to the bottom right corner and hit the start streaming button. And with a one minute delay, you will be live to Mob Crush. Once you're live, next to the share button, another button's going to pop up that has three dots on it. And you're going to want to click on that and then select edit title. As you can see with my recent broadcasts, I've changed the titles. This way people know what you're playing and what your stream is about. If you don't and it just says other, they may be reluctant to jump in and watch. So I would definitely suggest editing the title. Also, with the button next to the share button, there's going to be the option to tag your broadcast as mature. As you can see with my last few broadcasts, I've gone ahead and done that. It's just a little notification to let people know there may be some language that they might find offensive. So I would go ahead and tag it as mature just in case you slip up. If you're going to be clean, don't worry about it. With that, you are officially done. You have conquered OBS and you are now streaming live on Mob Crush. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or follow me on Twitter at RetroGames84. Also, next time you're on Mob Crush, drop me a follow, RetroGames84. I look forward to seeing you in the stream and hopefully you have all conquered OBS and are ready to start streaming to the world.